up, everybody? No mercy, everyone. Get cozy. All right. Wow, it's like the Tonight Show. Look at this. This is so comfortable. I don't even fall asleep. <laughs> How you guys all doing? Um, well, wow, it's, it's, it's apples and oranges. Uh, Karate Kid was my first film. I was 18 years old, uh, just going to college, studying to be a, film, uh, a filmmaker, uh, and went on a couple auditions, and, and one of them was Karate Kid, and I got it. So that was a, just, you know, having something happen at the first of your life like that was super exciting. So that's when I learned my martial arts. That's when the whole thing started. So I'm, I'm really, you know, my heart's there. Uh, but Cobra Kai is a whole new, a new fun adventure. It's really part two. It's, I would say, similar, same, different but same. You know, like uh, the episode of uh, Cobra Kai with uh, Daniel and I, different but same. So uh, it's hard to pick. It would be like picking between your kids. Uh, some people might have a choice in that. I don't. Uh, so, uh, but I'm loving. We're loving Cobra Kai because you know, a movie's a movie. It's you know, you shoot for three months, it's done and it's sealed. You know, this is um, really where we're doing seasons. Every season is like a five-hour film. You know, it's diced up into ten par half-hour parts. So we're making, you know, kind of big films. You know, each season. That's that, that's kind of our, our style. So, um, great question. Um, I hope I answered it somewhat well. So I, I'm curious now. Were you saying that you started taking martial arts after you booked the role? Yeah, I didn't know any karate. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know karate. I never thought I would. I really didn't think I would get the part. When I read the script, he was a motorcycle gang leader. He was a karate black belt. So I really took myself out of the equation, you know, thinking, well, you know, um, yeah. But so I, I learned everything for the film. He trained us. Uh, you ridden a motorcycle before? Though? No, I, it was my first time on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, first time with a black headband. Yeah, <laughs> all the new things, you know. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think. <clears throat> My favorite season was, that's a tough one because the entrance in season one, episode 10, with Billy and then the fight we had, it was, I just really enjoyed, the entrance I just really enjoyed. So because I was coming in to the show, but I, I kind of like, season three was very full and that big fight through the window and you know, with Ralph and with Billy, and it was just a culmination of so much, you know, a culmination of so many problems between the three of us, and uh, it was very rich. And the writers write so well, you know, they, they write the characters just in multifaceted, which is the difference between us doing the movie, which we were white hats and black hats, you know, Johnny and I would... Billy and I were the, you know, black hats, and, and Ralph and, and Miyagi were the white hats. So the show is is really exciting because you get a chance to play some vulnerability and a lot of texture, more than if you were doing a movie, you know, which we kind of did. The movie was just dark and light. Now there's all kinds of texture, you know. But I would say season three was very exciting for me. I haven't seen the show yet, so I don't know. <laughs> good, no. I heard it's good. Yeah, I, 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 it's like, again, picking a kid. I love season one because um, it was the beginning. It was raw. Um, it was the first time coming out of the gate. That was a great, fun experience to do that. Um, season two, I love the, the fight with Marty. I love the stuff where he kind of misleads me. I go and visit him at the uh, military home, and there's compassion. I love the love the love uh, dysfunctional relationship that we have as these characters that stick with us from 83 till now. And uh, you know, it's really uh, kind of a love-hate, two alphas kind of um, bumping heads and we both see things our way and we both think thing, we're the, seeing things the right way. Um, and everything we do is with good-hearted intentions even though those two points of view collide. So I love working with Marty and playing all those different levels. Uh, season three, I think was like you said, I think it's really colorful. I love the, the arc that I had from being drunk at a bar um, to fixing Miguel to bumping into Ali and to the final fight with, uh, with this guy and then Daniel coming and saving the day and then the bow at the end I think was a great climax. So 
Um, it's hard to pick something. I mean, it, the whole thing is, is such a great ride. It, to me, it all strings together. So it's more like what kind of moments are my favorite. And uh, uh, they're all great for me. They're all fun. Favorite scene? Well, I love I love working also with Ralph and, and the Johnny Daniel uh, rivalry and the butting of heads. Uh, so I like I like I like doing the, some of the driving scenes with Daniel. Um, <laughs> those are my fun Ario Speedwagon and the nuts and all that. <laughs> those are those are tops. Um, fighting him, you know, these guys are two guys that you know are, are different but same. They really have they're so similar in so many ways, but they just have completely different programs downloaded into them. You got Daniel with the Miyagi and the balance, and then you got Johnny with this. You know, what are we gonna do? This, 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 this influence in your life, and you got a crease in your life. You don't have much of a shot out there, kids. So pick your mentor wisely. <laughs> I, I personally love the scene I, we had in the men's shelter, where he follows me, and we really, you know, break bread together emotionally, and it was just terrific. And that's when, you know. Both of us kind of wailed, in, you know, emotionally in, in our eyes. And I remember what happened to me. And, you know, it was just very touching to be given another chance. And that's the kind of scenes I really like to do, much more than the tough guy stuff, you know. I think the tough guy stuff comes because there is a part of me that's dark. You know? But the real lively, love, vulnerable stuff is when we play, and, you know, that John Kreese feels that he is, that, you know, Johnny Lawrence is the son he never had. So it's that kind of appeal and reference that I enjoy playing as an actor, more than just, you know, the tough guy. Even though the tough guy stuff is, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> you did so well. I got well, uh, I, got a, I got a call, uh, How I Met Your Mother was interested in me doing a guest spot, or was I interested? Uh, without seeing it, I said, sign me up, I'm in, I love that show. Uh, then they sent me the script, and I turned the pages, and there's a clown, and there's a clown, and then there's Ralph Macchio, and there's a clown, and a clown, and Ralph Macchio, and a clown, and Ralph Macchio, and at the very end, the clown takes his makeup off, and it's me. Uh, so I thought, well, that's a safe way to bring me back on television. Don't give me any lines. Uh, cover me in <laughs> white makeup and a wig and a rubber nose, you know. Uh, so uh, that's how they approached me. And then the funny thing was that actually how I approached it, I thought, wow, if I'm gonna play a clown, I, I wanna be a really good clown. So I went to, uh, I looked on YouTube and I found like Wrigley Brothers Clown School. And uh, I, have you ever seen that? Okay, so I actually like did this clown school. I was in my office doing like all that, you know, and the stuff. I learned all this stuff. So when I came to the set, um, I, I actually w was like a mime and a clown and it was so much fun. Um, and then the very ending, I don't know, who saw How I Met Your Mother? Do you guys all see that? Okay. Um, that, that one scene at the end when I take my makeup off. So you're working with these guys on, on a show like that, and it's just this fast. And, you know, that was in its eighth season, so it was a well-oiled machine. The thing's moving really quick. Everybody knows what they're doing, and you're a guest. You're the new guy. And all of a sudden, at the very end, I have to take off my makeup and walk towards Barney and do this big monologue. And um, it was right before lunch, so we had maybe 10 minutes to get the shot. I had to do it one time. If I messed up, they'd have to do my makeup and I would have thrown the whole day off. On top of that, the director, who was great, this lady named Pam Fryman, who directed almost every single episode, um, she said, okay, so Billy, this what you gotta do is you gotta step forward, go like this, do a line. Then you gotta do this, then you gotta do this, you gotta take your foot off, then the jacket. It was like 10 different physical things I had to do to get the gi off. And, um, and then they said action. And I had no rehearsal of all that stuff, so now I have to do it. And um, it worked. That was the one take you see on TV. That was the one and only take. And, um, and it was fantastic. It was so great at the end. I think Neil was really like going, yeah, when he said like, William's that? Like, I nailed my lines, I think is what he was saying. You know, <laughs> you did it, you know. And then they brought me back for season nine, which was awesome. Anyway, that was great. I, I owe a lot to How I Met Your Mother because, they, I, you know, they called me out of the blue and um, put me on, I don't know, a hit television show as myself, which got me to do some comedy and people got to see me like that. And uh, it was a real good shot in the arm for my career and, and working with those guys who are all the best. I mean, Kobe and uh, J Jason Siegel and all those guys were just incredible. So, yeah. so well, there's a long, you. long answer to a very simple, short question. <laughs>